Name. Do you want to drive a car that looks different? A car that feels different? All Mazdas are designed with the Japanese philosophy of Jimba Atai, making them the perfect harmony of driver and car. And right now, you can avail of incredible offers across the range, like a €4,000 summer bonus. Visit your local Mazda retailer and experience the difference. Mazda. Drive together. Terms and conditions apply. Richtard's Russia. On Off The Ball. Do you like the name? I think it's brilliant. <laughs> Thanks to Flexify. Finance made simple. Who knows what Richtard's Russia is going to be? I, mean, I don't even know. See Flexify.com. Don't like sort yourself old, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're building up to Ballyliff in the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. Everybody is decamping up to the Inishowen Peninsula over the course of the next uh, 48 hours or so. A lot of the next few shows will be brought to you from uh, Donegal uh, as we build up to the Open, as I say. But it, it's nice that Joe has decided to hang around tonight. Uh, Joe's back in studio, thank God. He, he's missing for the first hour and a half or thereabouts. But thankfully, Joe Malloy has yeah. rejoined us. How are you, boss? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Joe Malloy here, filling in for uh, Restart. Um I'm the man with the quietest voice on radio. Uh, I speak at a pitch that is so incredibly quiet, uh, it's barely audible. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm working on it. I'm working on my Joe. I'm disappointed that he's not here tonight, actually, the real Joe. Because um, uh, he'd be uh, maybe another feather in my cap. Um, he has a kind of way, it's almost like verging into Richie sadlier at times uh, the way he speaks um, but yeah I know he's, he's a big fan of the golf and he's, uh, he's up in Donegal at the moment and um, yeah fair play to him it's um, nice uh, yeah. it's nice having back it really is well one of the things he does as well which I think is uh, quite effective on the radio is that he leaves pauses <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay that's okay um, he's just filling time when he does that by the way I think you're right. I think you're right. Because like literally yeah. the lads inside will go, oh, we have to take this up to, you know, 26 in the hour. Yeah. So the pauses I know it's designed to get us there. When he was with um, Eddie O'Sullivan, uh, when he was with Eddie O'Sullivan, you know, talking about Ireland, Australia, mm -hmm. and he would say, um, you know, Eddie, uh, you were saying that Ireland aren't really scoring um, enough tries. Would that concern you? Um, coming up to the Autumn Internationals. Yeah, well, it, wouldn't, it would concern me, you know. I mean, and it's not just the fact that they're not scoring tries, they're, they're leaking so many tries, you know. I mean, you know, you, you, can't, you can't squeeze a marshmallow into a parking meter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Eddie, when you say you can't squeeze a marshmallow into a parking meter, what exactly does that mean? Is that, is that something you should do in training? Or, no, what it means is that you can't flip a pancake with a spanner. You know, you can't grate cheese with a wigwam. Yeah, but why would you want to grate cheese with the wigwam, Eddie? That's well, well, that's the point. Yeah, well, but, but what is the point? I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what the point is. We had uh, Dunnock O'Callaghan on the line with uh, oh, yeah. Eddie on one stage, and Eddie was coming out with one of those Eddieisms, I suppose you call them. Yeah. And we just heard this tittering down the phone line from Worcester because it was Dunnock just losing it. Yeah. And he's like, at last I can laugh at these things now because yeah. beforehand, when Eddie would be going out with these in the dressing room, you just have to nod and go, yeah. mm -hmm, I know exactly what you mean, turn around to each other half an hour later when he's gone out of the room and say, what yeah. did he mean by that? Yeah, I know, I know. He's, uh, no, he's, he's incredible for, uh, for coming up with these things. He kind of rewrites the whole things, uh, you know, the, all the, it, they're not even cliches. Mm. They're kind of like mixed metaphors, I think, uh, you know, um, you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta move the ladder before you before you fix the light bulb, and you know, do you what what and how does that relate to anything? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. But, but but sometimes you have to do that, and you've got to protect the pill while you're doing it. So um, <laughs> he like he literally took that cow's arse with a banjo phrase and went. He did. He went to town on it because who yeah. who has access to at the same time a cow's arse yeah, and a banjo? In, indeed, indeed. Beyond uh, the cast of Deliverance, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, and, and I think Eddie obviously has access. We don't know that for sure. We don't uh, know that for sure. The banjo, maybe. He'd like. I'd okay. say he'd like the access. Um, that's for sure. I can imagine Eddie with a banjo. Eddie, yeah, he'd be a decent football pundit as well. You reckon? Yeah, I, I think he would. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you've got to you've got to look at that, and, and you've got to you know, uh, situation there with the with the, with the Colombians. You know, um, I mean that fella Vizar or whatever his name is. Um, you know, he, he's 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 got obviously got a Colombian name. 
So, you know, you know, you wouldn't be expected to pronounce it properly, at least I wouldn't, uh, or even remember his name. Uh, you know, the, the point is, it's all about patterns. Uh, it's all about making sure you, you understand the collective uh, in, in, a game of, in a game of soccer, as they call it in America. <laughs> Um, but I suppose the point about it is, you know, you've got to take advantage of it. Um, you know, sometimes you've got to batten down the hedges, uh, circle the wagons and stand back and let the man see the rabbit. Otherwise, you know, you can't see the woods from the trees. That is scary. Um, scary. Did you know what, though? This England game, as you see it unfold here, is about seven minutes played, or seven minutes to go, sorry, in yeah. uh, Moscow. England still leading by that hurricane penalty to nil. Yeah. It is indeed still coming home as football and uh, it's yes. going to be expected in the next uh, two weeks or thereabouts as yeah. that free kick is uh, lofted in. Eric Dyer has been sent on. He's gotten, uh, it was Harry Maguire actually, he's gotten ahead on that one but uh, sailed wide. It it's just shows the nature of this World Cup British and how it, just impossible it is to call it about which way it's like who's going to win, who's going to knock who out. Yeah. Literally every prediction that we could have possibly had, I, I think I probably made four during the course of it. Yeah, it's all, all wrong. It's basically me trying to bet as well. Like It's like, oh, I'm going to chase my bets because yeah. I'm definitely going to bet on Brazil now because yeah, Brazil yeah. is the only one's left in the round. Use. No one's got nothing right here. No, I know, I know. And I mean, I'd say as well, I mean, a lot of people kind of fancied Belgium uh, as well, I did as well. I mean, I, obviously they're still in it, but I mean, 2 0 down uh, last night's match, I think everyone was going, yeah, well, I could kind of see them imploding all right uh, in the last 16. Uh, there's no harmony in that dressing room, none at all. Th no, apparently, apparently there's no harmony in the dressing room. Um, but uh, there's doing all right for for a team that is no harmony. But I mean, uh, you know, we, we, these pundits that we listen to, nobody predicted that Russia would get out of their group. Uh, they were the worst Russian team of all time, and it wasn't just the Irish media and the British media that were saying that. It was actually the Russian media as well, yeah, to be yeah, fair. Absolutely. But um, you know, I, having no, I've never played the game at a high level at all. But I, you still suspect that the host nation is always going to stand the chance. Surely it's worth a punt that the home nation will get out of their group. I would have thought. Um, but uh, that certainly wasn't being said by 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 any of our pundits. Uh, I mean, I'd love if a pundit, if you know, was asked once, you know, um, who do you think is going to win? And if they said, I, to be honest with you, I haven't a clue because I can't predict the future. Because uh, that would be kind of a bit more honest. There's, there's, there's a couple of them. Um, we've I'm not going to name names, but there is somebody that we've dealt with on this show before. I'll put it that way. Who would go? Oh, would you imagine that X, Y, and Z might have happened now that such and such a player is missing? And I've gotten the response back. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Haven't a clue. Oh, sure, what are you asking me for? Oh, I'm not an expert. Okay, we'll move on. Yeah. And, uh, okay, yeah. so I see that such and such is lining out a left back. Give us the rest of the team news there. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah. they've gone. As I say, I'm not going to name names. But it, like the no. point of thing, it's impossible to call. The future is, you know, nobody's going to be able to accurately predict it, especially not with a World Cup that has turned out uh, to be this mad. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I, I still, I'm, I'm hoping Belgium win it because I just, I'd love to see a team that hasn't won it before and also they have the, also to prove certain individuals on RTE wrong that uh, there's no harmony in the dressing room. Um, De Bruyne and uh, Hazard not talking to each other, not looking at each other. Uh, they'd patch that up, I'd say, wouldn't they? I mean, if there's actually, you know, a chance to win. If you're at a World Cup, you've kind of put these things to one side. It was always, I think, the, the it's almost the Sheringham Cole thing at Manchester United some years back, whereby they yeah. they hated each other. Yeah. But by God, if you're on the same team, it, it makes no point to pass to somebody and then also call them an effing gobshite at the same time. I would, I would have thought so. I would have thought so. Although maybe that might make for an interesting dynamic if players are going to be mic'd up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take that. Yeah. Sap. <laughs> um, they keep on going on about the prize for this, you know, England's prize is, is, is merely Sweden in the quarterfinal. But, um, oh, a shot there, oh, my word, from Falcao, from Colombia. And, of course, Falcao got most of his skills from his time in England with Manchester United and then Chelsea, but then deserted the English team and now is doing his best to rub it in by scoring against us. You're giving me my Barry Davis fix because I'm bereft of it now. Because this is he's got he's doing his last Wimbledon yeah. over the course of this next week and a half. It's obviously the football's wound down for him over the past number of years and he's mm. selling off into the sun. He's got a documentary on BBC tomorrow night as well, looking back on his so you were 50 saying. odd years of the BBC, which is yeah. great news. So the fact that I get to have some Barry associated with this game tonight is well, a good thing. He's uh, he's my I think he's probably my favourite commentator of all time. It, 
it would be a toss up between himself and David Coleman. David Coleman, you'd probably be too young to remember. One like, nil. One nil. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, obviously not too young to remember. Uh, <laughs> my dad used to get me up and watch a question in sport. Oh, yeah. My, like, yeah. My, my, my secret treat as a child was to be brought by my mom. I was out of bingo. Dad would call me down at half eight and be all like, <laughs> come on down, son. Come to this yeah. like, wonderful, wonderful glowing door. And on the other side of it was Ian Beaumont. Uh, uh, Bill, Bill, Bill Beaumont. Beaumont. Ian Botham and, and David Coleman in pastel jumpers. Yeah. Answering that's right. questions about sport. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was brilliant. Uh, and a show wonderfully titled Question of Sport. A Question of Sport here. And even then, he would get extraordinarily excited. Uh, and it also, and well, when he used to do the 100 metres, um, it didn't really matter. He, he wouldn't make out a word what he was saying because he got so excited. It would just be, Poof! and it well, and Wells wins and takes the gold for Great Britain. <laughs> That's the bit you could certainly uh, make out. That's the money shot. That's the money shot. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Barry Davis commentating on, on, on Wimbledon, it doesn't quite have the same... I mean, he can't get quite as excited. I mean, he can't... Ca- oh, what an ace <laughs> by Rafa Nadal <laughs> and a superb backhand. It really was quite wonderful to watch. And, and also, he can't say, England are out of the World Cup, which, you know, he would be saying. Uh, I'd say he would be saying if he was commentating on it, probably in the next round. I think Sweden are going to do them. I thought Colombia might do them tonight, but I think Sweden will actually do them yeah. in the next round. Uh, without Hamez, I think Colombia have been bereft of uh, something in the final third and their um, yeah. utter, if I can use this word, shithousery in, yes. uh, in defence. As Barry might say, they have been resorting to South American tactics, shall we say. <laughs> the dark arts, the yeah. dark arts. Yeah. Um, Comments from the pundits of the of the tournament so far because yeah. one of the best ones I heard was tonight and and this is something quite special from Dunphy. He was talking about Quintera, the uh, forward for Colombia. He was saying that yeah, he's uh, he's playing for Porto. He played for Porto. He's gone to River Plate, and uh, he wants to be a rapper, which is good for being if he wants to be a playmaker. Well, that's what that is very good. I was like, wow! Yeah, that the is- fact that you've made that leap, Eamon, from he yeah. wants to be a rapper, so he's going to be a good playmaker. Well done. That is, that is, that is a very good, uh, that is a good Eamon, by the way. Good Eamon. Uh, you've been, I'm a you, pale you, you, imitation of an No, you, you've got to think, where there's, a, cause there's a bit more of a gap in his, I was making that point last week, there's a bit more of air in his, his delivery than it used to be. Is it? Was, uh, yeah. A bit more of that going is on. That, we're talking the teeth and meat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't need to, your teeth to meet. Uh, you know, when you're live on TV. That's a, lu- that's a luxury they have on, on ITV. Teeth are overrated, thanks be to God. <laughs> Um, Judy Dunphy's uh, is not something I think people are probably willing to handle at this hour of the night. Um, uh, Keith, Keith Andrews came out with a nice one. Uh, he said, <laughs> Neymar is a very talented player, but I, I would give Neymar a hard time for not trapping back. So uh, that could be some kind of a hangover from playing with Trapatoni. I think it could be, you know, just like the, he's still... Post-traumatic stress disorder post-traumatic playing tra- with yeah, yes, like The thing about it is, you mentioned Trapatoni to any of these players that played on him. Duffer mentioned his name the other day. This smirk came across his face, this wry smile where he's mm. like, I shouldn't go into this, but I, I might. And there's also Kilban when he's in here as well. He mentions something to Trapatoni. There'd be a, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Start off with a laugh <laughs> and then go, I can't necessarily. This I've is s- actually bloody serious. I've, yeah. s- I've signed a contract that yeah. says I can't talk about you if I Trapatoni. What Kevin, I, think, I think Kevin has a really hard time saying stuff, doesn't he, without actually smiling. <laughs> You know, he's just always smiling, isn't he? Like, and no matter what, I think he's like he's he, he, like he's always so nice about people. That even if he was asked about like Donald Trump, he'd probably say, "Yeah, but you can see it from his point of view, though." You know, I, th- I think I think Trump's a bit. You know, I think he's been given too hard a time. I do. He's just a very happy man. He lives yeah. a good life. Yeah, and I, I'd love to hear him singing Shinna Fianna F- or Ar- uh, Fianna, just in his accent. Because I mean, he used to sing all the. T- he did. You know, he did. To be fair, Shinna Fianna Fáil. <laughs> To on the gross to on to in a lot. He might go into sort of an Irish, an Irish prayer or whatever. He's a happy man despite the fact his heart is broken and Mayo are, are out of this uh, out of this tournament. But still, uh, he can probably understand it why they're out. You know, like why the opposition want to beat them. You know, because he's a fair bloke. Kildare have uh, done well. Um, Glenn Hoddle just there as well. Hoddle's, Hoddle's England, they've just got to calm down. They've just got to calm down and make sure they keep the composure. You calm down, Glenn. Yeah. You calm like down, Glenn. This is, it's starting to look like Michael Heseltine now as Glenn Hoddle, which isn't yeah. helping matters. He was once this like, right. demure, kind of uh, almost vaguely handsome footballer. Well, he's one of those, he's one of those examples where, you know, you know, if you didn't hear him speak, like his, his punditry is so not a reflection on what he was like as a player. He's an incredible player. I mean, really, I thought he was... Super, one of, my, one, one of the best players, if you ever... 
he'd be the 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 genesis of like YouTube montages yeah. of players because he was just amazing. The stuff he could do, shots yeah. from distance, everything. Yeah. Real like sort of graceful player. He and, had uh, Elan, I think yeah. is the word you're uh, Yes, for, yeah. yeah, yeah, that that'll do anyway. Um but uh, Oh England have equalized oh, Columbia have stolen it at the last minute. It's quite extraordinary. I did predict this when I came in, Richie. <laughs> I said that Colombia would nick an equaliser with uh, into injury time, and that is what happened. Disaster for England. Absolute disaster, Mark Lawrenson. Yeah, well, I think we, I mean, they, uh, England, uh, I think they've just, they've just fallen asleep there, and it's absolutely disastrous. And obviously, it was, it was written, in the, writ written in the stars, wasn't it, Barry? Well, it may have been, Mark, but it has come to pass in a way that is an absolute disaster from an England perspective. Oh, my, oh, my. It was Mina with the header. It, uh, the ball was crossed in. They had everybody, including David Espina, uh, Kyle Walker, sorry, Kieran Trippier, Trippier was on yeah. the goal line, and he headed it upwards against the bar and back into his own net. And Colombia, our level, Yera Mina, has equalised and is uh, in the third minute of added time, possibly sent this thing to extra time. This is, uh, apparently England have got their penalty takers worked out. I mean, of course they have, but they, they had this sort of, you know, routine and training. Um, and uh, they were trying to imagine, apparently, what it would be like trying to simulate it. Mm. Um, so it may well be put to the test this evening. I'm not sure who it is. Harry Kane, you'd imagine. Uh, I would imagine they'll bring on... Um, uh, Jamie Vardy. Vardy's already on. Is he on? He's, uh, the okay. Vardy party has already begun. But right. they made their changes with a view to, that very thing? I suppose, seeing this game out, maybe, because they brought on uh, Eric Dyer uh, earlier on. Right, um, right. I'm interested to see as well just, uh, just how England, I suppose, will close this one out. Yeah. Um, we've had some remarkable moments, uh, of course, this World Cup. We've seen some brilliant debuts as well uh, on the pitch and indeed off it. Jurgen Klinsmann made, finally made his bow uh, for the BBC the other night and with a straight face said that Neymar's diving was, you know, something that he might have to keep in check. Jurgen Klinsmann. Uh, Mayor indeed, Mighty. indeed. And, uh, and we also saw the debut finally, because we thought she was MIA, caught a Customs of Hope solo for RTE. Yeah, well, actually on Jurgen, um, he has the most incredible voice because it's like really interesting from my point of view because it's a complete combination of American and German. And he's obviously spent a long time in, in America, so he's ended up sounding like some kind of character in, I don't know, like a baddie in a movie, some kind of, you know, Is there like a collective bad James, a James Bond baddie or something like this. Is there a collective German shame about their accent? Because Dee Dee's done his best to try and ditch yeah, well, the German as well. Dee Dee, was, uh, Dee Dee is a, a complete combination of, uh, of Liverpool, isn't he, and team. Uh, but he was talking about the VAR. It's like the VAR is an absolute disgrace because it's like... It's like forcing two people who like having it in the World Cup for the first time. It's like forcing two people who've never met uh, from completely different cultural backgrounds to get married in front of the whole nation, in front of the whole world, and hoping it will work out. It's just not going to happen. It's like uh, Va being introduced on uh, on Love Island. <laughs> Although at least in Love Island, there's certain things that are worth looking back on. Um, He's, uh, yeah, no, he's, his, his, uh, and he, his accent, you kind of think uh, his accent is probably a little bit different off, off camera. Yeah. It's actually, like, it might be a bit more of a, you know, reduced kind of neutral. Is it uh, exactly but it's actually, same? it's actually worse off, off, off. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but we saw Hope Sadlin yesterday. There was an interesting dynamic on the panel because they were almost speaking to her as if, she was the, uh, there's an ad on telly at the moment with like a French student that's come to the house. Yeah. And it was kind of similar to say, it was like, oh, we've got, we've got the American that's come over now. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. Will, I know it's will true. you have some stew hope? Will you have some, but Peter <laughs> Collins playing the role of Ban on Tea. Yeah. And, and I'm not sure Peter was actually listening to what she was saying. Um, of course, uh, Hope, um, Mexico are playing Brazil and of course, um, you know some things about Mexico. And she actually responded by saying, you know, I think Mexico just had this inferiority complex when it comes to playing uh, Brazil. And, um, you know, I think they've got some great players, but they just can't quite do it in a World Cup. They've played uh, Brazil four times in a World Cup recently or something. And, you know, they just, they just can't do it. They just can't score against Brazil. And um, then Peter Collins says, yes, well, um, 
Yeah, Richie, speaking of Mexico, uh, <laughs> as if like they hadn't already been speaking about Mexico. Um, so it's, it's a, I think she kind of, she puts them all kind of... Um, it's slightly nervy around her. A, a, bit, a bit nervy around her. I think you're right. It's like, you know, he's, he's thinking, you know, I've heard, you speak the same language as me, but I don't think I've ever heard words delivered like that before. Uh, you know, it's kind of like there, she is actually speaking a new, there's a kind of an aura uh, around her. I'd hate to see the Peter Collins microchip getting Fritz, though, especially at this late stage in the tournament. Yes, no, no. No, 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 indeed. Um, but um, yeah, it was Richie. It was Richie, and uh, Richie was fairly cool. I thought Richie ha- handled himself uh, pretty well, and, and so did so did Keith. Apart from saying obviously that Neymar should drop back. Uh, but um, PTSD. Yeah, yeah. Trap PTSD. I think she's gone now. I think that's the end of her. I no. Yeah. She can't have been for yeah. like two days. And I gone. think so. I think Eamon probably insisted. She listen. She's taking my job. There by you know I think that I I was hoping they might be on the same panel but that's a dyna- that's a dynamic we'll have been robbed of if yeah, that doesn't come to pass yeah I don't I mean we were talking earlier actually um, about um, myself and the Opera Match Boys we were talking about like who would be the ideal kind of you know crank panel um, and uh, like that would get like be box office and you'd have to say Hope Kino and um, and uh, who were you saying there uh, Billich yeah I think Billich. it was uh, Kino and Billich. And Eamon, obviously, uh, maybe on the left side of it. I'd have to have a side of some kind of uh, meat in that Amo Roy sandwich because yeah. together, it's not going to be as no. nice as it once was. No, be very be make a, a very a very interesting dynamic. Mm. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, Pat and Evan got very hot under the collar as well, didn't he? About um, he thought uh, some of the stuff that he's seen was from Spain in particular. Yeah, it's absolutely disgraceful. And was it just saying they're not trying hard enough, or what, what was a? Uh, is it just you know? That'd be very arrogant, Lizzie. Right. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I think it is a shame that they're gone, I have to say, Spain. But uh, this is going to be very interesting now. Uh, or will it? Will it be. <laughs> this is going to be turgid <laughs> and we're going to get to penalties in yeah, half an hour's time. I, you can imagine it'll be um, a defensive defensive battle. With Dyer on the pitch as well, he's a very odd man to bring on, isn't he? I mean, I know he's trying to close it down, close it out. He's possibly John Doyle's Ooh. least favourite footballer. Just looking back on some chances here that Colombia had said towards the end of that second half that ultimately led to that equalising goal for Yeremina that has brought us to extra time uh, in Moscow. Um, Rich Stards, you've more gigs coming up with the lads. And yeah. I want, before we go, who, like, are, are we, can we expect more off the boil captains to make its way to... Oh, oh, before oh, we, we, the end of the World we, Cup? We may well, yeah. Yeah, we're doing the third place playoff. Um, live? So, live. Wow, yeah. okay. So we may well get some off the ball captains in there. Um, there's plenty of subjects to discuss, of course, like there's the tennis and you know, there's loads of other things. And, of course, I know you guys fancy yourselves at covering every subject and every sport. You so, could have stopped so that sentence as you guys fancy yourselves and I probably <laughs> would have been right as well. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we could end up talking about, you know, baseball or... Um, Skittles or something. But with great authority, Richard. With great authority. I think Joe used the phrase drenched in, in superiority or something. Uh, but that's, that's, just, that's just the effect. Anyway, the two other lads made me do it. I didn't want to do come it. Come on, yeah. come off it. Absolutely true. I'm not buying the kook and, and Murphy were getting Yeah, any they, were just, they made, got me in a headlock and insisted. Um, yeah, we've got second. gigs um, live, pretty much live. Uh, and we're obviously celebrating 20 years of pretty much, believe wow. it or not. Um, we're in Clonmel on the 7th of July, uh, Westport Town Hall on the 12th, the Whale Theatre in Greystones on the 13th, and Vicar Street will be our last gig uh, on the 14th. Actually, sorry, we're in the Pavilion um, on the 20th. So that is our last kind of World cup kind of gig. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. It's going to be good. Rich Stars Russia, thank you so much for coming in again, Rich. Thank you, Richie. Uh, enjoy extra time as best you can and the lumps that will be kicked out of shins uh, thanks over, Moscow over the course of the next And afternoon. thanks for helping us to come up with more material for our next Upper Match sketch. Listen live or listen back. The News Talk app is News Talk in your pocket. Download it now. Oi, fan owners. Sure you know time is money, so save both. Visit chill.ie for a quick quote. Chill Insurance Limited, trading as Chill Insurance, is regulated by the Central Bank of Ireland. Looking for an amazing, affordable place to stay in Galway this summer? Then book into Sweet Boho Moor, self-catering and one-bed apartments, just 10 minutes walk from Air Square. With 24-hour reception and free parking, Sweet Boho Moor is the perfect base for the Arts Festival, the Galway Races, or just to enjoy the crack. Find us on Facebook at swuite.com. 
What a shot! The Dubai Duty Free Irish Open takes place this July. From the 4th to the 8th, Ballyliffin will play host to this incredible occasion. While Rory McElroy and John Ram set the fairways alight, country music singing sensation Nathan Carter will headline our world-class music and entertainment programme. The perfect day out for the whole family. Tickets on sale now. Search The Irish Open. The World Cup. The biggest stage for upsets, passion and opportunity. Your gut says to take advantage of every game and your smarts say where to go. Because Betfair have had the best odds on the World Cup, so you always get the most from your bet. Betfair, where gut instinct meets smarts. Data provided by TX Odds and Bet Radar, based on Betfair Sportsbook average match odds over round since the 12th of March 2018. Full terms at betfair.com, 18 plus gamblerware.ie. The new Tiguan Allspace is the latest addition to the distinctively designed Volkswagen Tiguan range with up to seven seats. For 182, enjoy non-existent rate APR PCP finance, technology upgrades, and a purchase contribution of 1,000 euro. Request a quote online or at your authorized Volkswagen retailer. Conditions apply. Purchase contributions only on finance contracts. Offers only available on models registered by July 31st. Volkswagen Bank GmbH branch Ireland is authorized by the Federal Financial Supervisory Authority in Germany and regulated by the Central Bank of Ireland for conduct of business rules. On 106 to 108 FM and at Newstalk.com. This is News Talk. Good evening, I'm Tom Swift. Ryanair says it will contact passengers on Tuesday if they're affected by a pilot strike in Dublin next Thursday. It's after an overwhelming vote in favour of industrial action by pilots represented by Forza. Ryanair says the strike is disappointing and unnecessary and says it has tried to meet with the union on 18 occasions. But the union says it's available and willing to engage on issues like seniority and base transfer arrangements. Spokesperson is Ashley Connolly. We have informed... Ryanair, that we remain available and willing to engage on the issues identified in the strike at notice that was served on the company today. We won't be making any further comments at this stage. Garthi and Cork are continuing to question a 21-year-old man in relation to the murder of a man in Douglas. Joe O'Callaghan, a 66-year-old father of three, was found dead by his wife in his apartment yesterday morning. The detainee is being questioned at Toker Garda station. The housing minister is defending the OPW after it emerged the papal cross in the Phoenix Park was washed down in the middle of the hosepipe ban. The Office of Public Works says the works were essential ahead of the visit of Pope Francis next month. It says the minimum amount of water required was used. Owen Murphy is backing the move. I'm sure the OPW, like Dublin City Council, where they use water for cleaning and those types of things, are not using water that's suitable for drinking or that they would have the capacity to clean to make into drinking water. It's important that we make a distinction between those different types of water sources. So while I don't know the exact example because I haven't seen the video, I understand how others might see that and get frustrated and think that they're wasting water. More than likely the water they're using is not clean drinking water and cannot be cleaned for drinking water. News Talk Weather. Thanks to Des Kelly Interiors. Our friendly staff will help you choose the perfect carpet at the new look Des Kelly Interiors. Dry and mostly clear tonight with lowest temperatures 9 to 14 degrees. Tomorrow will be another very warm and sunny day. Dry in most areas but cloud will increase from the south and a few scattered showers will develop during the afternoon in parts of Munster and South Leinster. And now you're up to date on News Talk. It's uh, air traffic control currently has uh, football circling